Today we review Suki Sports latest cycling bib shorts. Hello legends and super legends, welcome to Velo Harmony. In today's review we take a look at Suki's latest bib shorts that's supposed to have much lighter pads than the ones that were sent before. Let's get into it. This uh, bib short is called uh, the model number is BS1601 BAFM. So if you go to that side and you're looking, that's the one you want to look for. I think I'm going to compare it to the one that I got before after I've shown you its properties. First thing I notice here, this mesh, much lighter and softer than the other one they sent. Very soft, almost silky. Um, they have the same Suki name on there. The Lycra is different and lighter. I like the leg length so far as I can see. The, the leg gripper is also different. You see that? There are tiny little pebbles on this panel. It's about probably a centimeter around. That's supposed to keep it in place. Let me uh, open it up and show you the pad. It is lighter, it's a nice continuous pad. It's split down the middle, which is really good. A lot of the high-end shorts have that. So you're getting high-end quality at their price and you have no excess padding where you don't need it. I really like the design and the feel. This is not a gel pad, so just a light, it's a dense foam, but it gives, which is what you need so far the feel. So I'm going to go ahead and compare it to the other one and then I'll put it on as far as the innards and then we'll go by feel. This was the first one they sent. I don't know if the model number is in here or not. Let's see. I'll get the model number in post-production and put it here for this one. But uh, the main difference is this one here, even though it's ventilated as well, it does not feel as silky as this material. This material feels silky and cool on the skin. I think this will be even cooler in hotter weather. The pad is, let's see what the pad is shaped like versus this one. Yeah, the pad is completely different than this one. Let me see, just from feeling, this is a little lighter than this. This has a longer split down the middle, the new one. This, the split just stops where your sit bones are. It does not extend further down. That's the main difference I can see right now. I'm going to go ahead and put it on and then see what the difference really feels like. I'll compare it before I put it on. Let's see what the leg length looks like because this, this new one appears to have a longer leg length. They've got three reflectors in the back here, down the middle like they have on their jerseys. That's a nice spot for it. Um, let's see if they did that on here. No, they didn't do that. They've got the leg gripper reflectors on this one. So this one does not have reflectors on the leg like this one. But the reflectors are up here on the back. I'm sure they had a good reason for doing that. I'm going to see if we can just visually compare the two leg lengths. Let's hold the straps together and see if we can tell which one's longer. If Okay, yeah, you can see here. So let me turn it this way. There's a, there was a significant difference. That's about, yeah, this is almost four inches longer, the new one. Well, not quite that much. Let's see. About two inches. So about, let's see, five centimeters, two and a half inches. So this one has five, about five centimeters longer leg length. So if you're a tall rider, this is right up my alley. So let me put it on, see how it looks aesthetically and how it feels. 
All right, legends. I just put this on and just as I suspected when I was showing you these, it felt cool against my hand. So I don't know what kind of fabric this is. It might be some kind of a Polar Tech fabric. This is very cool against the body. I will definitely not be wearing it this time of year with a base layer. I just put the base layer on for this video, but uh, I like the way it feels. I like the way it fits. It comes closest, in my opinion, to a pair of shorts that I love, made by Echio Undo. It's very stretchy. Back up and see if you can see how far down my leg it goes. This is nice and long. I love long shorts. So if you're a tall rider, <clears throat> anyway, you know, five, seven and up, you look better in longer shorts. You don't want your short way up here on your, in the middle of your thigh. You want it further down, you know. And I love the way the lycra feels. It's very smooth. It's a lot softer, slicker feeling than this one that they made. And because this one has a combo pattern in there. Now, don't get me wrong, this is a pricier short of theirs compared to that one. And I just wanted to make the comparison because the differences are not uh, going to deter one way or the other. It's just a matter of preference and whatever your budget may be. But I really love this fit. The pads completely disappear. It's a very, very light but dense pad. You don't feel like there's a diaper. This one doesn't feel like you're wearing a diaper either, but the pads are a little thicker. These are lighter pads for riders who prefer thinner pads. This is the one to go with. If you prefer just a regular feel pad, you go with that one. So if you want something lighter, I like that they offer a longer length because that's something I had mentioned to the marketing director while I was dealing with her is that I would, it would be a nice thing to give, get, have the option of getting a longer leg length but this is about five centimeters longer in the leg than that one. Even though that one's not very short, I wore it. The feel of this Lycra is completely different and I've gone through the same thing with the Rafa shorts as well because the Pro Team is different and then within the Pro Team, depending on whether you get cargo or whatever, all the Lycra are not necessarily the same. That's why in the Rafa, I prefer the Pro Team. This fits really well. The band is nice and snug, so it's not going to be going anywhere. You can hear that. They've got a nice strong elastic and it's got little dimples in it that I showed earlier. So this one, also very nice. There's no restriction. This is similar in that regard. This thing does not grab your shoulder to where it's pinching and all of that. It just kind of stays nicely in place, just nice and firm. But this is silky smooth. So I don't know what kind of material this is, but I guess that's why the, it's a little pricier than this one. So they're both very good shorts, depending on your budget. I would say this is like an everyday training short, and this is like for grand fundos and races and so forth. Because this bad boy, when you put it on, you can't keep your hands off the material. It's just nice and slick. It fits very well. The sizing, you want to determine it by your waist. Those of you who have not seen my video on how to size your kit, I will put the link right here. But uh, you need to basically size by your waist and then you won't go wrong. So in their bibs consistent with the ones I get from Rafa, this is called an XL because my waist is 35 and the sizing of this one, I believe is like 36. They have these ranges and I fall near the middle to the top in their bibs and this fits well, you know. So not much else I can say about it. I really love this. If I had to choose, me personally, I would lean towards this bib because of the length of the leg. Now, doesn't mean that these are that nice. As I said, I've worn them already, but I personally prefer a longer length bib because I'm a tall guy. So. This, they don't offer a longer length, but it's still a regular length bib. It's not very short like I was demonstrating. But this one just is about five centimeters, two and a half inches long. They give you a little more leg length versus Rafa. Rafa gives you three centimeters longer versus the regular. 
they're long. They end up falling in the same spot, so that means they're regular, it's probably long. But I really like where it is. And I like how it sits and how it feels. So the proof is in the pudding, I'll see how it feels on the road. And add it to this review. So, no matter what, keep getting your